Haas and today I'm going to be doing a Halloween wreath that you can put on your door to add some decor to your door um, for the month of October and so I got a combination of materials well I got a wreath from Hobby Lobby that I spray painted black and then I got my additional materials at the Dollar Tree where you basically can just kind of get whatever you want to to kind of just add some some style to the wreath and you can just use any combination of different things that you see because I feel like with this particular project the more stuff that you put on the wreath the better that it'll probably look just add some different layers um, to it and so I decided to spray paint the wreath black because you know how like when you watch a scary movie like the vines in the movie always seem to turn black so I feel like that would add a little bit more um, mystery or scariness to the wreath and it would just be very appropriate for Halloween so I'm excited about doing this I cut out through some old cardboard that I had the word boo using my exacto knife and then I spray painted it purple where I think that if I had some glitter which in this particular case I don't have any glitter but if I had some glitter I would also add either like some purple glitter on it or some black glitter on top of it just to add a little bit more pizzazz to it but I'm still trying to debate if I'm going to actually even use the cutout letters that I spray painted. So I'm going to go ahead and play with it um, when I actually go ahead and start doing the wreath. But we can go ahead and start going over the materials that we will use for this particular project. But before we get started, if you could go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. If you like this video, comment. If you don't, comment. Well, you know what. <laughs> positive comments <laughs> um but let's go ahead and let's get right started with the materials that we would need for this particular project for this project you'll need a combination of different fillers that you can actually put on the reef all of these particular fillers i got from the dollar tree minus the boo word cutout Alright, you'll also need some tools for this particular project. Um, this project I will be using a glue gun and I got some wire cutters and some scissors. And lastly, you will need a wreath. I got this from Hobby Lobby for about $4.99 and then I was able to use a 40% off coupon and I spray painted it black using the black lacquer Rust-Oleum spray paint that I used in my previous video that I will also link down below in the description box. So my glue gun should be finished um, getting hot. So right now I'm just kind of working on how or where I want to place everything on the wreath. I mentioned that I didn't have any glitter but as I started playing with the placement of the stuff on the reef I realized that I had these little um, sparkly vase fillers that I bought to actually put on the reef but I think what I'm going to do is I'm still going to try to incorporate the cardboard cutout that I did and I'm going to actually just glue gun with the glue gun um, add come on glue gun add the balls to the little word cutout that I did and just trace the letters and see how this actually looks so it still gives me the glitter effect that I was looking for but then it also gives me the ability to have some texture too, which you know I'm all about texture these days. <laughs> Spray painting and texture. <laughs> 